In the vast silence of space, where distances stretch beyond imagination, one question captures the awe of explorers and scientists alike. How fast can we really go? Humanity has always been fascinated by speed. From racing chariots across ancient battlefields to launching rockets beyond Earth's embrace. But when it comes to space, speed takes on a cosmic scale. The fastest object we've ever sent into the stars is Voyager 1i, still humming along through interstellar space after nearly five decades. Yet for all its legacy, Voyager I travels at a mere 17 kilometers per second, only about 0.06% the speed of light. That's barely crawling when you consider the nearest star is over four light years away. The speed of light, 299 no, 792 kilometers per second, represents the ultimate speed limit of the universe, according to Einstein's theory of relativity. No matter how advanced our technology becomes, no object with mass can reach, let alone exceed, that barrier. Why? Because as an object approaches light speed, its mass increases exponentially, requiring infinite energy to push it even faster. It's not just difficult, it's fundamentally impossible under the laws of physics as we currently understand them. Still, we dream, and engineers dream bigger. Ion drives, for instance, offer a whisper of promise. These engines work by expelling ions at high speeds to generate thrust. They're slow to start, but incredibly efficient, able to accelerate a spacecraft gradually over long periods. Then there are nuclear pulse propulsion concepts, wild ideas like Project Orion, which proposed propelling a ship forward by detonating a series of nuclear bombs behind it. Dangerous, yes, but theoretically capable of reaching up to 10% the speed of light. Even further out on the technological frontier lies the theoretical antimatter engine. Antimatter, the mirror opposite of normal matter, releases colossal energy when it meets its counterpart. Just a few grams could propel a spacecraft faster than anything we've ever built. But producing, storing, and controlling antimatter remains far beyond our current capabilities. So for now, the speed of light remains a boundary etched into the universe itself. Yet with each advance, we inch closer to understanding how to bridge the eternal night between the stars. The question may not be if we'll go faster, but how far we're willing to push the laws of physics to try.